Good Wednesday afternoon, Western Montana. I'm Kate Hockey, and this is the 406, the Missoulians' weekday webcast. Here are the top headlines at this hour. The Lolo National Forest has two wild, la wild land fire engines and one helicopter responding to a new fire about five miles due south of Frenchtown on private timber land in the Deep Creek area. The fire is generally located between Bear Gulch and Sear Gulch north of Deep Creek Road. The fire is producing smoke visible from Missoula and the surrounding area. There is no immediate threat to structures. Watch Missoulian.com for updates on this emerging story. The New York Times today reported that Montana's newest U.S. Senator, Democrat John Walsh, plagiarized large portions of his final paper submitted for his 2007 master's degree at the U.S. Army War College. In a lengthy story by the Times national political correspondent, the newspaper said at least one-fourth of the 14-page paper was lifted from other authors' works without attribution. In some cases, the Times reported Walsh had used other authors' work almost word for word without crediting them other than in footnotes. Walsh told the Times he does not believe he did anything wrong and that it wasn't plagiarism. Missoula County Sheriff's deputies received a report last night of two males trying to pawn stolen copper wire at a local recycler. When asked for ID, the men left the scene and were later located at the Bonner Town Pump. Subsequent investigations by de deputies and detectives determined that the men apparently were responsible for numerous thefts and burglaries throughout Missoula County. They will be arraigned this afternoon. Watch Missoulian.com for updates. A delegation of high-level Chinese ambassadors will stop this week in Missoula. Organized by the Mansfield Center at the University of Montana, the visit includes talks with the university officials, Governor Steve Bullock, and state business leaders. The delegation includes Ambassador Shuman Liu, the Executive Vice President of Chinese People's Institute of Foreign Affairs. The Montana Supreme Court has upheld the 2010 firing of a former state tourism director, Betsy Baumgart served as administrator of the Montana Tourism and Promotion Division for eight years and received satisfactory or better performance reviews. In August 2010, the new Department of Commerce director fired Baumgart. The agency said Baumgart left millions of dollars unspent each year, opening the possibility for the legislature to revert the, that money to the state general fund. She sued, arguing her firing was politically motivated. The Supreme, Court, the Supreme Court rejected that argument and ruled that the budget issues were adequate grounds for firing. Have a great e evening, Western Montana. Check back with us on Missoulian.com for updates and breaking news, and pick up a copy of Thursday morning's print edition of the Missoulian for the most complete local news coverage in Western Montana. I'm Kate Hockey, and that's the 406 for Wednesday, July 23, 2014.